respond to this question so that I will get an idea of uh, where is your standing. Okay. <coughs> All right. So in the last session, last year, the spring 2023, Young was uh, taking the course. Um, I did not take the poll, but I understood that uh, many of you were not able to understand the concept. So I tried to came up with an interactive example. If uh, Young remember this example, that I brought some oh, yeah. toys. I borrowed toys from my daughter <laughs> to explain this concept. So I'll do the same thing again. Last time when I request her to lend her uh, toys, she said that she's going to lend me in for $10. This time she didn't say anything. <laughs> anyway, so let's assume that we have some snacks. And this is a machine, OK? Consider this as a machine. And assume that this is completely automated, OK? So when this is automated, whatever we have to cook in this machine, it has to take some input from anywhere. Suppose that humans are not interacting with it. It should know where it has to collect the input from, ingredients from, OK? So this is these are the ingredients. Suppose these are placed over here. And this machine knows that it has to collect the input from this place, use it here, and whatever, however you want to cook, process this input, and produce the output or store the output in another location, OK? So this place where the system, this machine, took the input from is considered as the argument address, argument register, OK? So it takes the arguments or input. So if we want to provide input to this machine, which is a function, OK? We cannot just directly put any input to the function. We have to place it to somewhere where the function is supposed to be executing this, OK? Extracting the input from, OK? So this machine knows that it has to read the input from this place, OK? So it will, we will load our input into this place only, into this bowl only, OK? So this machine will take the input from this, uh, this place, this register location, process it however it is required to be processed, and then produce an output. So function returns an output, OK? So function, where does it return? It will just produce an output, return the output in another register, OK? And that register, this is where we our rest of the program will be reading the data from, OK? Get it? So this is the location where we will be providing the input. Function, the system, which is function, the procedure, it will take the input from this location. It does not know whatever the input is, OK? It will process the input and then produce an output. And that output, which we return from the function, is supposed to be stored in another register, OK? And that is what we call the arguments and function registers, OK? 